This is the uh, conceptual mop notes for viewed in another light. So we're going to look at how different colors of light on different colors of paper that are normally viewed in white light can really uh, can change. Uh, this is typically used if you look at stage lighting and things. But uh, the instructions here say what color will they appear in the diagrams on the next page. You have uh, different colors of paper and um, they have different, uh, they're illuminated by different colors of uh, light. And these are primary lights, so red, blue, and green. And they use R, B, and G for each one. They want to know, include what uh, primary colors of light will be reflected. So note that red paper is defined as paper that appears red when you have it under white light. So these papers, when you see the, letter, the, uh, the colors here, these are because they are illuminated under white light normally. Uh, white light would be RGB. So let's go ahead and look at um, all the different uh, different ones that we have here. But let's start with this one since it's already under white light. Remember RGB is red, green, and blue. Those three primary colors, you put them together and you do get white light. So white light on cyan paper. Remember from our um, uh, color wheel that we can do red, we can do green, and then we're going to put blue here. The red and the blue end up making magenta. The blue and the green make cyan. And the red and the green make um, our last color, which is yellow. And all we have to do is go ahead and draw the opposites for each one. And that will help us as we go through and do this activity. So we know that we have red, green, and blue. Remember, cyan is a mixture of green and blue. So this paper will reflect that cyan color of green and blue. And this one will absorb red. So I'm going to just stick red right there. Let's look at the next one. Now we have green paper. The green paper will absorb everything but green. So it's going to absorb the blue. So the blue stays in the paper. And we end up seeing green. And in the one just to the left of that, here we've got the green paper again. So it will absorb both the red, uh, red color and the blue color. There's no blue color here, so we don't worry about it. But it does absorb the red, and so we're left with green. What I'd like for you to do is go ahead and do the next six on your own. And then what we'll do is we will check those in class tomorrow. I'm going to go ahead and go on to the next slide. Uh, this one says different color light sources are shown on different colored sheets of paper. Consider which of the colors would reflect off the paper in order to determine the color that is observed. So once again, you're going to get tired of this, but we're going to do it every time we need to. We make a color wheel. So we have red, we have green, and we have blue. Blue and green together, remember, they make cyan. Red and blue together make magenta, and red and green make yellow. Go ahead and make our cross here. It says the light color is yellow. The paper color is green. The light color is yellow. So what we need to do with these lights is figure out what primary colors make up each one. If we look, remember the circled ones here are the secondary colors. And we could put boxes around the primary colors of light. And that will help us kind of go through and determine what lights we need to put in each box. So yellow is a secondary. We need to make it primary. So that's actually a combination of red and green. Uh, the paper is green, so we know that it absorbs red and blue. It reflects green, so the color that we see is green. Let's do the same thing with the magenta. Magenta is a combination of red and blue light. So we're going to actually put red and blue light. The paper color here is blue. So we know that it uh, will absorb anything that is red and green. Blue will be reflected. So now I've got blue light. Um, and uh, I think what we can do here is just say, Whatever it absorbs, we can get rid of. So we're going to get rid of that. It absorbs green, but we don't have any green, so don't worry about the green. So the only color that comes off of this paper is blue, uh, because both the reds and uh, the, the green doesn't matter. So the only thing that comes off is just the blue itself. Let's go ahead and do the next one. Uh, this one, you have cyan light. Cyan light, remember, is blue and green. So I've got both blue and green. 
red paper, the other two colors, remember, are blue and green. So this paper will absorb anything on the left side here that's blue and green. The light is blue and green, and so they all cross off. So here, we're going to have black because no color will be reflected. Yellow, remember, uh, up top is a combination of red and green. Cyan will uh, is a combination of a couple different colors, so we remember that it is blue and green. Okay, so this one is a combination of blue and green. That means that it will reflect blue and green. So because it reflects blue and green, we're going to put them over here. This one will absorb anything that's red. So on the left, we have what's absorbed. On the right, we're going to put what is reflected unless it's a primary color. Um, the red is absorbed, so we cross it off. And the only color here that is left is green. You cannot reflect a color, so it reflects blue normally, but because there's no blue coming in, the only color that is left on this one is actually green. Let's do the next one, magenta. Magenta is a combination of both red and blue, so we've got red light and blue light. Green is a primary color, so the other two colors that are absorbed are red and blue. And notice that the red and the blue get crossed off, so this one again is black. And then finally we have cyan. Cyan is a combination, if we look up top, of blue and green light. Magenta, remember, is a combination of red and blue light, so I'm going to put red and blue are reflected. The other color that would be absorbed then is going to be green. I cross off the greens. I notice that blue is on this side, blue is on this side, so I know blue is reflected, so I'm going to put blue here, and there is no red light hitting it, so we can't see that red light, and those are your answers. If we go on to the next page, you'll see um, it says, what are the possibilities? They want to know what are the colors that a red shirt could appear when viewed under combinations of red, green, and blue spotlights. So a red shirt can look two things. It can either be red or it can be black. It can be red or it can be black. They then want us to name the possible colors of a yellow shirt could appear when viewed under combinations of red, green, and blue lights. It can be yellow. Okay, so if it's under all three, it could be yellow. If it's just under red light, it would actually appear red. Because remember, is a, yellow is a combination of red plus green. So if red light shines on it, it will be red. If green light shines on it, then this shirt will be green. If blue light shines on it, it doesn't reflect blue at all. So what you would get with it would be black, because it would not reflect any any color at all. The next one, uh, name the colors of magenta shirt. So if we have magenta, remember magenta is actually a combination of red plus blue. So those are the two colors that can appear. If I have red light, uh, the only light that will be reflected is just red. So that magenta shirt will be red under red light. If it's green, it's going to appear black. And it's black because there is no green light that is reflected. No green light reflected. If I have a blue spotlight, then that shirt could also be blue. Uh, last one says name possible colors of a cyan shirt. So cyan, remember, is a combination of green plus blue. So if red light shines on it, it's going to be black because it will not reflect any red. If green shines on it, it will be green. And if blue shines on it, it will be blue. So that one's a little bit easier to understand. For the next slide, or the next question on your sheet, it says three colored spotlights, red, green, and blue, with equal intensities, are turned on and off to illuminate a shirt with different colors of light. A shirt that appears A, so you'll notice here it is our appearance, when viewed in white light is placed under spotlights and appears B. Uh, this conclusive evidence that the blank spotlights are turned on and the blank spotlights are turned off. So these are actually colors that we have to worry about. For the very first one, if I have um, a shirt that appears red and white light, if I have another light on and it's red, the spotlights which are on have got to be red. 
we're not going to be really sure which spotlights are off. That's inconclusive because remember, the other lights that could be off could be uh, blue and, gr and, um, and green. Here's green and green. So I know that green uh, spotlight has to be on in order for this to happen, but we're not sure about the other spotlights that are off. Here's one that's a little bit different. Appearance in white light is green, but appearance in other unknown lights, we're not really sure which of the lights are on, but we know the light that's off has got to be green. We're going to do one more, and then I'm going to have you do the rest of these, number 11 through 15, for class tomorrow to see if you truly understand them. Appearance in white light. This shirt is yellow. So remember, yellow will reflect a couple of different colors. Um, let's go back to our our uh, R G B. Remember, yellow is a combination of red plus green. So in this one, I'm going to put R G because I know that it will reflect those two colors. Um, appearance under light. Oh, it's red. So I think the only color that we could have on would be red, and the spotlight that would have to be off would have to be green because I don't get any yellow color and I don't get any green color here. So that one's got to be off. Go ahead and do the following uh, for tomorrow. This is the yellow uh, appears green, cyan appears cyan, and on and on. See if you can figure these out. And we will go through those tomorrow. The next one, this is for red light color blindness. If you were suddenly given a chemical and it impaired the nerves in your eyes, so that you were, uh, your eyes uh, the detect red light, so you can't see any red light. What color would a US flag appear? Show in this diagram by labeling the different parts. Uh, the red stripes would be black, because now you can't see what's reflected. You can't see that red. In fact, uh, the white color here and the white color in the stars, those would actually be cyan. Because remember, white is a combination of red green and blue. And if you get rid of the red, you're left with just green and blue. So anything that would be white would be green and blue to you, which would be cyan. And because you still see blue, this blue background would still be blue itself. Uh, that is it for this mop PowerPoint. And we will finish it up, and then you can do your uh, mop after we are done going through the answers you needed.